Lynx provides the best protection for the soldiers in a really complex fighting environment. It gives them a very safe place to operate and move around the battlefield within. It also gives them digitisation so they can connect and understand what's happening around them and it gives them incredible lethality and when they're in a firefight it gives them uh, the ability to have the best possible protection and the best possible chance of doing their tough missions and coming back out alive. The different thing about the Type 2 is that it's designed and manufactured in Australia. There's over 70 suppliers working on the Type 2 program. So the RDA engineers worked hard and collaboratively with our suppliers. With Ray Mattel's blank page approach, um, using our uh, historic knowledge from our Formula 1 solutions, we were able to really work from the ground up and present a solution that can provide benefit and is different to anything else on the market. So we were first engaged by Rheimatel to supply components into the first of type boxer program. That sort of set the stage for the relationship uh, in regards to the product that we were able to produce and the quality levels we were able to achieve. The ideas that we have, we then take them to the suppliers and we have a conversation. We sit down and see what we can actually make and what's physically possible. Uh, and we work with them in order to get to the final product. The first project we're working on with Rheimatel involves the provision of a NATO 6T form factor battery. We're leveraging technology from our other state-of-the-art systems that we've developed in mining. It's being developed in Australia, manufactured in Australia, all the IP around that with 3ME, and then as an export to other countries. When I talk about Australian industrial capability, I'm talking about global supply chain. That is not just part of a supply chain because we are located in country, but it's part of a supply chain because we have the best capability. So we were tasked with coming up with a crane for the Type 2 vehicle which had a very large lifting capacity but also keeping the structural weight down considerably and the packaging space to put it in was quite challenging to achieve as well. So a conventional crane made to do that sort of lifting would be pretty much twice the weight and you would not be able to pack it up into the space that we've been given. People in the field can decide what they need at that particular time and they can change it in and out in a timely manner. And to be able to work on a project that has this almost creative aspect where you can think outside the box and have these systems being integrated within each other is something that I didn't know was possible. We were fortunate enough to get invited to the tank maintenance squadron out of Edinburgh for their anniversary and it was good to meet the guys who actually work on these vehicles and how they use the equipment to get a first hand point of view. And through the process that we have here at Supershop where engineers are working from the start of design through to assembly and prototyping and testing, that leads to better designs and, and more efficient manufacturing techniques. We're a a veteran owned and operated company. I don't know how, how many kilometres I've done in a Bushmaster or an LRPV or an SRV. We truly want to give our guys and girls in uniform things that will make their lives easier and make them perform better on the battlefield. It represents the best of what we can do with Australia in Australia for our soldiers, for our economy and for our nation.